2020 has been a year of reckoning for this nation. Examining our history, we've begun to correct historical inaccuracies passed down through generations. Monuments to dubious heroes have been taken down, school and street names rethought, the contributions of the overlooked and mistreated members of our society are finally being recognized. Change is in the air, and it's a good thing. But boy, it can be hard. Like this coming Monday, Christopher Columbus Day, the day we celebrate the man who, while looking for India, accidentally fell up on this continent, discovering a place where people who he renamed already lived. Examining his legacy, we find he may not have been the hero that we've been led to believe. You guys can look it up. Controversy around him has given rise to a name change, Indigenous Peoples Day, recognized already in several cities and states. Obviously, traditionalists don't care for this, putting the two sides in conflict. Now, I'm here for change if it pushes us forward, but I'm also here for unity. So I got a proposal. Why don't we change the name to somebody we can all get behind? Somebody we all like, like Christopher Reeve or Christopher Walken. We love them both. One was Superman, the other was great on Saturday Night Live. There's Chris Tucker who gave us Rush Hour Friday and the criminally underrated Fifth Element. And who could forget Christopher Williams? All good choices. In fact, here's my top five to unify the nation. At five, Christopher Wallace Day. He changed hip hop and his rhythms have brought people together. Young, old, black, white, man or woman. We've all sang Biggie's Give Me One More Chance. At number four, Chris Evans Day. Who wouldn't want to take a day to celebrate Captain America? You've already used at least one sick day to go see a premiere. How about Chris Everett Day? The Cinderella in sneakers, 18 grand slams, 157 singles titles. I'll take a day off for that. And number two, Chris Rock Day. He's given us more to laugh at and think about than Columbus ever did. And for my number one, screenwriter and film director, Chris Joseph Columbus. He made our childhoods great. He gave us Gremlins, Goonies, Home Alone, and the best part, the name is the same. All we have to do is change the picture in the books. There it is, people. Think about it.